Hi everyone, I'm Baba Tunde. Today is a special video because it's in, in collaboration with Atomic Stream, Mr. Mike, my mentor. Alright, so today I'll be making a special recipe. Well, it might not be special to you, but to me, it is very special called uh, Skillet. I'm going to be making Skillet, so like I said, in the collaboration with him. Alright, so that's what I'll be making for this video. But before I start the video, I would like to show my full appreciation to my patrons. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I'm very grateful to you guys. You know, without your support, all this, all this will not be possible. So I'm extremely grateful to you guys. And those of you that are buying me cups of coffee, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Most especially Atomic Shrimp. Mike, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you. All right, let's go into the skillet making now. My wife is really anticipating this. Because uh, when she ate my pancake, she was in love with it. She has been disturbing me <laughs> to make another pancake, another pancake ever since. And uh, I've not been able to do it. So I'm very, very excited to make this uh, skillet. What is the origin of that English word? Skillet. It sounds Italian. All right. So I'm starting with the ingredient. Now we have one and a half cup of plain flour. Yes, we have plain flour. Mr. Mike's, the kind of skillet that Mr. Mike uh, Atomic Shrimp will be making, it is slightly different from mine. And I'm going to tell you the reason why we have that difference. When I was going through the ingredients, I saw something like a bread flour. Yes, I saw bread flour. And I've never heard of that before. Bread flour. What does that mean? <laughs> I googled it, it's not something that we're having it. We may have it in Nigeria, but just this, there's no way to to get the information whether we have it in Nigeria or not. So I decided to go for the kind of the type of skillet that does not involve bread flour. I've never heard of it in my life. This kind of uh, flour, plain flour that we use for making bread in Nigeria. I never heard of what we call bread flour. <laughs> Extremely strange to me. Trying to have a teaspoon baking powder so if that are my long-term subscriber you know the kind of a baking powder uh, I usually use so we have two and a half right and my baking powder you yeah, look at there look at the brand baking powder in case you are thinking will this one be real baking powder believe me I'm not sure. I don't know. It's almost expired. One month more. 2023. Almost expired. I want the ingredient to be as accurate as it can. As accurate as possible. That's what I want about the ingredient. White sugar. Two tablespoons of white sugar. Ideally, in African homes, unless we are cooking, this is the kind of sugar that we make use of. I started sharing of uh, golden sugar, yellow sugar, when I started baking with her, uh, with atomic strip. I had no idea we have something like that. Now in baking, there are just so many things I've been hearing for the first time in my life. So, two tablespoons of uh, sugar. It's a whole new experience for me. Ever since I've been baking in collaboration with Mr. Mike, new experience for me entirely. And I'm just so, so, so glad that I, and I'm really, really enjoying this. All right, now it's time for me to whisk the dry ingredient together. So this is my whisk courtesy of Diana. <laughs> Diana, thank you very much. Even the, uh, the tin cutter that I use, courtesy of Diana. Thank you very much, Diana. I really appreciate you. What you sent me last week, too. Thank you. You are special in my heart. I have some of you, too, that I'm supposed to be mentioning your name, but unfortunately, I can only correctly pronounce English name. So I don't want to butcher your name, so I decided not to be calling it. In case you just hear me calling Diana, Diana, it's simply because it's an English name, and I find that easy to, you know, to pronounce correctly. So if you bear an English name, I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher your name. So, all right, we'll whisk everything together. 
whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. We have a little our oh, egg. In, uh, in Western country, you have what to call free range egg. <laughs> in Africa, we have no idea what we call that. As far as Africa is concerned, we haven't got to a stage of respecting animal rights. Not even human rights. We've not reached there now to talk about animal rights. So whether free range or not, we still don't know about Because some of you might be asking, is it free range egg? No, it's not free range. We still don't know. Our society has not developed to that level of recognizing animal rights and now the way they are supposed to be bred. Right there, we have the egg. Then we have about three over four cup of milk. Three over four cup of milk. This is one over four of cup. So we add in three, three of this. And this is my milk. Okay. Okay. One. One, two, three. That's perfect. All right, that's about perfect. Then my vanilla extract. This is my vanilla extract right here. So in the measurement, we have half teaspoon, half teaspoon of our vanilla extract. Though in this recipe, According to what I read, it is optional, but because I readily have this vanilla extract, I decided to, to add it. And apart from that, I love the smell of vanilla extract. So, in any ingredient, once it is required, or once it is part of it, I will surely love to add it because I love the smell. I love the smell of it. So, now the next is now for me to mix everything together now, using whisk, yes. My whisk. Every time I say this whisk, every time I say this, I always remember Diana. I always remember that. All right, mixing everything together now. The consistency of this is the most important. The consistency is very, very important. And I just hope I get the consistency right. Because if the, cons the consistency of the butter is not okay, then now uh, that is a huge problem. Some of you doing this, uh, preparing butter, it may be a second nature to you. But for somebody who is born in a Nigeria, this is completely alien to me. More than 90, 99% of Nigerians, we are not familiar with this. Because traditionally, this is not part of our part of our so that's a diet or part of our recipe. However, it's a brand new experience for me because I really love learning new things. That is why every time I'm to bake and to make all this kind of recipe, I'm always overexcited, you know, because of the experience what I'm going to gain. I'm going to share this with my friends too. So I usually love their comment whenever I share this with them. I love their comment, you know, <laughs> what they say, how it is being prepared. They used to love it. So this is the final product. And um, this is the consistency. Or you can say the viscosity. I believe this is close to it. Though, <laughs> for me to rate myself, I don't know. But I'm very sure from what I'm seeing, it is, uh, it is fairly there. You know? Like a uh, tomato puree. And now, uh, you know, something like that. All right? For some reason, I love doing this. All right, <laughs> that's the one. It's one against me. I thank you, my patron, for supporting my channel. Thank you to somebody that's supporting me for a long time. And the new ones, I'm grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. From the deepest part of my heart, I'm grateful to you guys. Always thanking you. Thank you very much. So the batter is ready now. Next thing is now for me to melt our butter in, our, in my pan. And for the frying now, so this is my non-sticky frying pan. I'm to use non-sticky frying pan, and that is my teaspoon of butter, two teaspoon of butter, 
it's just to melt everything to melt the butter you know so that the, the entire base of the pan can be sticky though i'm still going to towel off the butter but just want the base you know to be a little bit soaked you know butter is oil to soak in butter or to soak in oil which one i think butter can change to oil so i need to dry the the frying pan i've been providing by using tissue paper like i used to say in my videos the most important part of any recipe is for it to be edible and to taste great it doesn't matter how it looks the beauty aesthetic is not the most important part of our part of cooking the most important is the food to be to be delicious to be yummy that doesn't mean that aesthetic is not important at all yes it's also important too yes. so whenever i'm making this a recipe that is completely alien to me i usually go for this first before going to before going to the aesthetic i go for I always try to make it uh uh to, to make to make the taste very good and palatable so that's what i'll be doing for this too though the frying pan is large i'll be making four four batches in one just four I'll be making four If there is a possibility, which which I'm thinking is very very rare, for a Westerner not to have done this before, or non-Westerner that they're interested in doing this, so we have it. And now I copied this in BBC, in BBC website, uh, BBC recipe. That's why I copied this. And now Mr. Mike shared another one with me that I'll be making. So how do we know that this is done? Is when the bubbles start coming out. You see the bubble, you know, escaping from it up. That's when you know it is done. So you now have to turn it upside down and now uh, and fry the other ones. So I'm gonna give this two minutes to to fry. From my observation is like uh, I dried the oil too much. <laughs> Over dry. It's like I dried the oil too much. Because at this stage, and look at that, it's not supposed to burn like this. I dried it too much. That's just from my observation. If there's anything you think I did wrong, please let me know in the comment section. That was my observation though. So this one is not, it's not golden brown anymore. Look at that. It's now, oh my God. I love really hot over this. I hope it doesn't taste burnt. I hope it doesn't taste burnt. So for this now, I'll be adding small quantity of vegetable oil because to be candid, this is how I want everything to be. But I believe I've dried, I've dried the oil too much, too much. Probably the uh, the tissue paper is more effective than towel, paper towel in terms of drying liquid. I don't know. Probably that's the reason. So next time I'll be making use of the exact thing so that in case. Oh, uh, there is kind of flop. I can know exactly what causes the flop. The improvisation is good, but in some cases you just have to look for the right thing, the correct thing to do it in order for you to get the perfect result. Oh my god, look at that. All right, <laughs> what am I doing now? Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. So, oh my God, look at that! And I believe the reason—that's my reason. But if you think there's any other reason, please let me know in the comment section below. The reason is that, like, I dried. Look at that! I dried it too much. It's too it's bone dried. So there's really not oil to make sure that is a uh, it's well fried, and that is a uh, that is pathetic. So I'll be adding small quantity of oil to rub it so that the next one will not be like that. Hopefully, it will not be like that. All right, this is the second batch of my piglet, uh, the younger brother to, to pancake. Uh, because 
I did not show you there's no video of when I was uh, scooping it in this and when the butter finally melted. The reason why we, I don't have that it is because my phone gave up on me. But because my phone was too close to the uh, to the burner, you know, the camera just went off telling me that the the phone temperature is too high. It's too just too high. So I put it outside. I just uh, brought it back in. So that's why I don't have and that's why I removed it from the from the tripod using my hand to do it so this will be a little bit shaky the footage will be shaky i'll need to i need to find a way to to tailor my kitchen towards female it is not customized for female at all i'll need to do something urgently about that i know you guys love me you want to be there because of me you know since the beginning when there was nothing a few things you guys have been staying with me and for that i'll forever be grateful to you guys all right, as you can see here, the second batch is golden brown. So this is what I offer in the first batch. And uh, and this proves me right. That the reason why that burnt was because I dried the frying pan too much. And this is the, this to prove the evidence that I'm completely right. So this one is better. The way I'm looking at it is far, far better than the first batch. Okay, that's about it. That means I will enjoy this more. I'm going to give that, I'm going to enjoy this because I, if I give that to my wife, the first bite, she knows she's not going to eat it and she'll rate me back. So I'll give her this <laughs> so that she can rate me high. All right, look at that. The oil. My piglet is now ready. The difference between the first batch and second batch, the contrast is like day and night. You can see how brown this one is. Now look at this. This is awesome. I'm going to love this. Let me take it back. Yeah, this is better. And the burnt one. I've taken a bite of the burnt one too. <laughs> now look at that. Though inside, I don't see much difference. This is the difference inside. This one is whiter than this. Browner than this. So, I'm going to enjoy my pickle with them. Um, strawberry jam this particular strawberry jam was sent to me by <laughs> by bob all the way from australia though the original the container the uh, glass bottle has broken so it was sent to me by bob all the way from sydney in australia thank you very much bob <laughs> and this is the first time in my life that i'll be tasting jam never tasted it before that i've been sent it and now uh, a supermarket shelf but never have I ever tasted strawberry jam before and today I'll know what it, what it tastes like <laughs> that is so exciting I don't know if Westerners they eat this with their uh, with their fork with knife they can eat this one with knife with spoon or well, with their bare hands but for me I can only eat and enjoy this with my bare hands so if you feel disgusted, you know, you can end the, the video here. But if you are not, uh, let's go into rich now. But I hope you start them with the plain one. You know, I don't know how you eat your strawberry jam. I don't know. So I'll assume this is how you eat it. That's just my assumption. Uh, even in movies, I've never seen an actor, you know, eating jam before. Oh. One thing I like about, about this is that it is not too sweet. It is not too sweet. And now it is palatable. Though I can't think of any any of our local dish that I can use this to compare with. In fact, we don't have any of our local dishes that I can use to compare this. I have none. So I can only give a very short description of the taste but it doesn't taste bread but it tastes flour you know just flour and now uh, strawberry jam okay that is it about this video if you have any question please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything any factor that you thought is responsible for this apart from the one that i observed let me know in the comment section below if you feel like supporting my channel too, you can become a patron. You can buy me cups of coffee to be fully appreciated. 
Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.